What's going on guys? It's Pat and welcome back to another Minecraft video and today it's gonna be more mods versus maps And if you look around we are actually in New York City. It's so cool looking It's an amazing build and I felt like we had to destroy it I've actually been to New York City before a few times and it's just so cool to be going through a map actually in that area and today, guys, we're not using an explosive mod, but instead, Mobzilla is going to be joining us. Should be a really cool way to destroy a map. And also, some tornadoes. Figured we'd, like, double up on this one. Because Mobzilla, how much could he possibly destroy? I'm probably going to spawn in, like, 100 of them. But some tornadoes should make it really epic. Plus, this map is absolutely massive. It's obviously not, like, all of New York City, but it's so huge. I don't even think we can destroy the whole thing. But we'll do whatever we can here. You can see the edge of the map. They actually have like a link back to their Planet Minecraft page like written in wool. But don't worry guys, in the description I will leave a link if you want to check this map out. And of course for the mods as well. So guys, let's go for like 6,000 likes again for more destruction. And I'll definitely keep this series coming. It's so much fun to do this to a map. And I did want to say total respect to the map creator. This definitely took him a long time and the build is so cool. But today, we are going to say goodbye to it. So I guess we'll start with Mobzilla. I'm just going to spawn him in the street. And if it gets to nighttime, I might keep it night. And see like mobs spawn. He's probably going to go after everything. Alright, here we go. Mobzilla in New York City. Oh my god. Look at that. He's annihilating the buildings next to him. Wow. I knew it was going to be something like that. Because whenever you fight Mobzilla, the terrain around you just gets destroyed so bad. Alright, let me get another Mobzilla in here. And I'm thinking the tornadoes might pick up Mobzilla. I don't know what's going to happen with that. But let's get a few of these dudes in here first. Uh, there's another one. And you can see the buildings just... They just fall apart. His tail just touching them makes them disappear. That is so sick. Look at him like walking into it. And the building falling apart. And all the blocks actually end out on the ground, which is kind of cool. You know what, guys? I think I have a good idea. <laughs> this building's going to be gone soon. You know how we can finish it? What if... Oh, look at all these mobs in here. Mutant zombie. Mutant zombie. Let's put down Mobzilla inside the building. All right, that's got to be cool. Oh, man. He's like underneath the ground now. I think he found the basement. All right, guys. Let's put a tornado in here. Let's get a normal one with the tornado gun. I'm going to spawn it. Should I spawn it like on a building? Not exactly sure how it's going to work. I'll spawn it right on top. All right, here we go. And they should get some kind of storm going and hopefully destroy these buildings. You can see the blocks are getting torn off it right now. But I wonder what happens if Mobzilla gets sucked into it. I'm sure a lot of people are wondering that. So we're going to do it right away. Spawn him in right there. Oh my god. Mobzilla is flying away in the tornado. I always thought he'd be too heavy. But apparently not. Oh, he seems really pissed. He's shooting fireballs at the building. He doesn't even know what to do. This is so cool though. And as he's landing on the buildings, it looks like the blocks are disappearing. All right, break it, Mobzilla. Oh, that wasn't as cool as I hoped. Well, actually, the building, like, disappeared on the side right there. And, guys, I did have another idea. I tried to come up with some cool stuff for today. I'm trying to keep this series as interesting as possible by adding in tons of different mods. And I was thinking, what if we spawn in the king to fight Mobzilla in the middle of New York City? It has to cause some kind of destruction, right? The king is nowhere near as destructive because when he walks into blocks, it doesn't, like, make him disappear like Mobzilla. But he might get Mobzilla, like, running all over the place. All right, here we go. All right, king. Let's turn this into a battle. Let's make this intense. He's pushing him through the building. Oh, my God. That's awesome. And, yeah, this map is just so huge, guys. The chance of destroying the whole thing is nearly impossible. But we'll see what we can do in, like, a reasonable amount of time. I try to make these videos less than 20 minutes because if I'm destroying stuff for like an hour trying to get rid of New York City, it'd probably get pretty boring. All right, so Mobzilla, you are underneath the building. It, it only has a hat. Yes, buildings can have hats. All right, what if we um put one on top? I don't know what the king's doing right now. He's just attacking everything. Put another one right here on top. Yeah, I was thinking if you put him on top, it might just make him fall through the entire thing, which sort of looks to have happened there. Let's find a really big building. So, we're going to put this right on top of the building. Oh my god, he just got launched through the air. The king is after, like, every Mobzilla. There's fireballs flying all over the place. Alright, so we'll put him on the roof right here. Mobzilla, do what you must. Destroy it all. I want to see the whole thing go down him to, like, fall down. 
to the city. There's actually a couple mobzillas underneath the building now. Now that is weird. And if you guys are curious, inside the buildings, there is really nothing. It's all blocks. Like, I, I tried going in. I thought it'd be cool if you could, like, explore, but it's actually just blocks. Even behind the doors are blocks, too. You know what? I wonder if the king could get sucked up into a tornado. All right, let me get the tornado gun, guys. Should I just spawn it in between everything here? It might be really awesome. Yeah, this fight is making them destroy a lot, though. All right, so let's interrupt the fight with the tornado. Let me just get a little bit closer here. This was a building at one point. All right, here we go. Tornado versus Mobzilla and the king. I don't know. It looks like the king might be getting sucked into that, too. I know he could fly, but it, he, he's trying to escape right now. I think he's powerful enough. But Mobzilla just gets sucked right in. Yeah, fireballs are flying all over the place. I see, like, hundreds of them at this point. And Mobzilla finally learned to fly. It's, it's pretty impressive. All right, guys. So I tossed it into peaceful because the lag was just overwhelming. There were so many mobs and fireballs flying by. And now we can actually look at the destruction. It looks really good. They totally destroyed this section of New York City. And I think the tornado might have done this. There's like a crafting table in there. It's a bunch of crafting tables, actually. So what we're going to do now is spawn everything back in. I think it's settled down a bit. I know it's getting a little bit laggy there. So you know that building right there? I have an idea. We're going to spawn two mobzillas on it. Actually, maybe that one. That one's even taller. Yeah, we'll go with this one. Two mobzillas on it and then the king right next to him. Yeah, the buildings are so huge in this build. All right, so let us get a couple mobzillas up here. And look at the details, too. I feel like I should point this out. The details in the map are kind of astounding. Like, every single thing has details, except for the insides of the buildings, of course. All right, so here we go. So I'll put one mobzilla there. Another dude there. Let's see if it just goes down first. I just want to see if the building just goes all the way down to the ground. They're, like, going one layer at a time. It's kind of like they're so fat that the building breaks. It, it really looks like it. They're just so fat. They, they can't be held by the building. And that's what happens. All right. Before they're at the bottom, let's get the king back in here. All right. Fight. All right. Here we go, guys. The king back in here. And I, how did Mobzilla end out all the way over there? It's on top of a brand new building. This one's completely gone now. All right. So we need some more tornadoes. I'm going to spawn in some of the other, like, cooler tornadoes, too, after... But I think the most destructive one is going to be from the tornado gun. It seems to do the most damage to the ground and stuff like that. But we'll definitely try out the other ones too. This is just so insane. I feel like we have to put a tornado next to Mobzilla again. Alright, let's go for it. Grab everyone. Actually, I think the king got him beforehand because he's really, really high in the air. But the tornado landed perfectly. It's going right through the building. That's pretty sick. You can see all the blocks like flying all over the place. Let's get another tornado in here. It's actually starting to rain, too. I think I'm going to turn that off. Rain seems to be really annoying for stuff like this. So we will clear that for now. All right, there we go. So yeah, Mobzilla is getting tossed into the buildings. A tornado is coming by at the same time. And Mobzilla has taken flight. Oh, we might land on top of it. It's going to be close. I'm, like, trying to get near them. You can see we're on, like, the end of the map right here. Oh, man, they're inside the tornado, both of them. I think the king might be stuck in this one. We're inside it. It's so cool. I love the tornado mod. It's so sick, especially for destruction. The battle is on top of the buildings. All right, let's get some more mobzillas in here. All right, that's perfect. Right on top of the building. And I think maybe the best way to destroy buildings is probably just to spawn mobzilla inside them. You saw before, if you spawn them, like, in a building, the building just ends. It ends completely. I might just be able to right-click it. Yeah, if you right-click it, it rains blocks. That's kind of cool. You can really destroy this place very quick like that. Check that out. Building is gone. Tornadoes everywhere. Plus, there's fire because they're fighting. And there's, like, frost breath and lightning. It's pretty intense right now. But, yeah, a lot of the buildings are still alive. Honestly, guys, I don't think we could destroy this whole thing. I, like, get closer and it starts to disappear. This looks pretty bad, actually. Should we get a Mobzilla over here? In the button. There we go. All right, so that building... Is crushed. He's like stuck inside it. Yeah, the fires actually look really good. So I'm thinking about getting another tornado in over here. Because the Mobzillas, they look kind of bored. And I wouldn't want that. Alright guys, I'm going to try to make it more exciting for you. You can now fly and stuff like that. And here comes the tornado. You can see it coming down from the sky too, which is really cool. 
And Mobzilla is instantly getting picked up by it. I can't believe it can pick him up. All right, should I get another one? All three of them. Add one more. It's going to be perfect. And guys, it's almost nighttime. Well, it's practically night at this point. Mobs are going to spawn in. We'll keep it like this for a little while and see if it adds to the destruction. Because what that should mean is mobs will spawn and then Mobzilla will attack them, making more destruction in the area. We'll see, though. I think the tornado is definitely helping. What are those fireballs even shooting at? It looked like he shot it at the building. He finally learned your objective is to destroy New York City. Actually, there should be mobs down here. It's got to be what's going on. There's got to be some mobs or something because they're going crazy right now. Let's check out this tornado. Wow, right through the buildings. It's actually right in the middle, but all the blocks on both sides are getting tossed everywhere. That's pretty awesome. All right, guys. So what we're going to do is actually spawn in a different type. So we'll go WM here. Spawn tornado. And I'm thinking the, the five one probably won't do too much. We'll try with three. We'll go with three and see what happens. And this one spawns kind of randomly in the area. So hopefully this is it coming in. I'm not exactly sure on this. The problem without using the tornado gun is the tornado can actually spawn anywhere. And that looks to be it, I would imagine, right there. All right, let's get a better look. I'm, I'm trying to go over here. Look at all the blocks. Yeah, it looks huge. It has a much bigger radius, but it almost missed the city completely. So hopefully, it's heading in this direction. We'll see, though. The thing is about those guys, they don't destroy the ground as much. And I wasn't sure if the buildings would take too much um, destruction from it. All right, so this just looks like it's way too intact. I see zombies on it. Actually, there's like a middle spot. All right, there's ground here, right? All right, thank God. Let me get um, Mobzilla in here. I love watching the blocks just fall down from the sky. Let's try that again. Perfect. Mobzilla against New York City today, guys. Hope you're enjoying it. If you have any ideas for, like, really interesting mods against the map, be sure to leave them in the comments. I'm looking for new stuff all the time. Is that the Empire State Building? I'm not really sure. Like, I've been to New York City before, but it hasn't been any time recently. It, it, it's nothing now. There's, like, nothing here. Sadly, some of this stuff actually went off the side of the map. But yeah, let's check out these buildings. I want them to go down really bad. It's like raining blocks right now from the tornado. We can try the level 5 and see what happens. I don't think it's going to do too much. It's like really big. It's like a hurricane, actually. I don't know if it's really a tornado. It feels like a hurricane. I will go with it, though. Okay, WM spawn tornado 5. And hopefully it doesn't spawn over there. All right, here it is. It's actually really close to me. Much closer than normal. So this should do something, I would think. Well, <laughs> the Mobzillas are just... What are you guys doing down here? You're just you're just chilling over here. How, how can I make you more excited? What if I spawn in the king? Would that make you happy? Probably not, but here we go. All right, so the king should shake things up a little bit here. Hopefully the buildings will go down from that. Plus, we're in the middle of a massive tornado. Yeah, honestly, I'm not seeing any blocks really coming off it. I think we're going to stick with the tornado gun. Because this one's like the widest. Like, the higher number, the wider it is. But it seems like the less blocks it actually pulls off the buildings. You can see it's pulling a couple, but it's really not enough to see any damage to them. But you know what does? Mobzilla in the window. That, that definitely does it. Right, let's go for it. There we go. And now that building is toast. And what happened to Mobzilla? Where did you go? Did you, did you fall through? I think you may have fallen through. Like, the king is just running through right now. There's fire, lightning, mobs, tornadoes. It's so sick. The fireballs are, are... Are they sucked into the tornado? It just looks like there's so many. I don't think they are. It just looks so cool. There's so much going on right now. I'm thinking when day hits, we're going to have, like, a serious problem with this city. There's going to be, like, nothing left of most of it. Yeah, look at the fireballs. I think they might be lagging a little bit just because there's so many mobs. I seem to be going pretty good, but when you spawn a lot of mobs, they shoot abilities sometimes. They go a little slower than they're supposed to. Oh man, look at the king trying to fight three mobzillas right now. I'm going to check his health if I can. I'm just kind of curious, guys. I just want to know what's going on. Yeah, shoot him onto the building. Hopefully it'll break it or something will happen here. This is so insane. This is one of the weirder like mods versus maps videos I've done. And apparently that place, um, I'm thinking it must have had water in it. I don't think that could be from the frost breath. Looks like a lot of water. Mobzilla. What are you doing, bro? What are you doing? 
You're not, you're not even fighting. You're just looking at me weird. Do you know? Oh! Shot a fireball like right past me. See all the mobs on the ground? This is why I left it at night. Because it's so cool. Plus, it's actually... It's somewhat light. I mean, there's a lot of fires and stuff kind of lighting up the area. Plus, there's some glowstone around, too. I think I'm going to switch it back to day, though. Because the mobs are fighting each other anyway with the kings. All right. So, time, set, day. That should be good enough. And now we get a really good look at the area. Did I, I know I spawned in a couple of kings. They're right next to each other now. This poor mobzilla. I wouldn't be surprised if some of them actually died. So guys, I have tossed it into peaceful now. And we are going to check out the destruction we caused in New York City. Like this building is never going to be the same. It just has gold blocks. Look at this. Some of the buildings like have the top to them because mobzilla wasn't tall enough. But I think we did a great job. The map, honestly, is so big. We couldn't destroy the entire thing in, like, a reasonable amount of time. And I definitely didn't want to make it, like, an hour and a half long trying to get rid of every single building. But checking it out, they really did a good job. Mobzilla, awesome for destruction. And, of course, tornadoes are, too. Look at this building. It has a hole in it. And you can see the side of the map kind of got annihilated, too, because a tornado went right through it. You can see the void underneath. Yeah, I guess I spawned one of the Mobzillas in here. Should I just spawn a couple more? As we're going around, we might destroy a couple more buildings if I feel like we didn't get enough out of it. Like, look at this. We broke the bottom, but the top of the buildings are still in shape here. So, maybe. Maybe I should spawn another one. Like, right here. Looks like one might have been here, actually. Alright, there we go. That'll help. Couple on top. I'm just trying to check out and see what we actually did to New York City. Because a lot of the place is still alive. It's just a massive map. But where we spawned the tornadoes... And the bosses actually ended out pretty great. Look at this place. A couple of mobzillas still over here. And some of the tall buildings are completely gone. See, I think the problem with this map is it's all skyscrapers. So getting rid of everything would be nearly impossible. I think even if we had nukes, the nukes wouldn't be able to destroy the entire skyscrapers. All right, look at this. This building. It looks so weird. It just has like the corners. And a lot of them are missing the bottom. Oh god, look! Mobzilla is still fighting the king over here. So he must have been too far away when I went into peaceful. Still battling it out. Which I think is really cool for this, because he knocks him into the different buildings. But if we check over here, I think we did pretty good, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to slam that like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I will see you guys next time for another Minecraft video.